What's going on guys, it is Jack here, and today I'm going to show you how to build an 80s style living room. Now I know this may not be something you're looking to build, in fact it wasn't even something I was looking to build. A couple weeks ago when I was stocked up on mocks because I didn't have a camera to film them, I was building some furniture because I was bored and I made this couch and this television styled after those in the 1980s. Here we are a couple weeks later and I finally whipped something up to show you exactly how to make a Lego interior version of an 80s living room or any interior of an 80s house. Before I start throwing cons at you and sounding like an idiot I do want to mention that I was born in 2002 so I haven't lived through the 80s everything I'm basing this off of here is just from movies and stuff like that but anyways let's get started The first thing I tried to approach when building this little vignette was making some disgusting looking wallpaper. From what I've seen, every single 80s room has a disgusting wallpaper, some really weird colored walls, or just some walls that don't match the rest of the room, so I replicated that here by adding some dark green stripes and some white stripes going vertically. It doesn't look the greatest, which is the idea. I also put the one and the only analog clock on the wall because I know a lot of people in the 80s had those, there was really no alternative to telling the time in the house. They didn't have smartphones they could pull out of their pockets or anything like like that. I know these things are still kicking around, but I know a lot of people don't have them in their houses because there's really no need to anymore. The next thing is this box TV, and I know a lot of you people know what this is. It's very iconic, and it really screams 80s at you. Making this is very simple. All you have to do is follow the same principles as if you were building an old-style computer. Use some headlight bricks to attach some tiles to surround a gray brick as a screen, and then add some antennas up top, or antennae, I guess I said that wrong. Put that on a TV stand, and you've got yourself a television. For this one specifically, I used brown as the base color and then added some studs and some tiles as knobs and I think it looks pretty accurate. To sit across from that all I did was add a couch and the thing about designing this couch was making sure that it had humps instead of being all flat like a modern couch. To build this all I did was attach some cheese wedges onto some headlight bricks and that kind of made a circular shape. You can also achieve this same effect if not better by just using some traditional slopes because I know that's a lot easier and it looks a lot more smooth. On one of my more recent builds I think it's Mike's basement if I'm not mistaken you can see that technique and just see how how much better it looks. After that, it's really simple. All you have to do is stick a lamp in the far corner, add a set of drawers or whatever you want to add in here, and then you're pretty much done for furniture. And to make it feel even more 80s, all I did was add your good old jock with the swoopy hair and the vest and his boombox so he can jam out to some tunes. But that will cover this little vignette, how to make something like it, and of course the entire video. So if you enjoyed, leave a like down below. I will link some more videos that are just like it if you want to give those a watch. But as always, thanks so much for watching, and most importantly, take care.